Hello, everybody, and welcome to Courtside with Tony Engel, alongside the head coach of the Dalton State Roadrunners. I'm Craig Corbin. Coach Engel, good to see you, sir. Good to see you again. Indeed, it has been a while. It's been a while. We are already hip deep in the new season, uh, and in fact, conference play already well underway. But before we get into the 2017-2018 season, let's sort of tie up last year because we didn't have a chance to, uh, to recognize some of the guys that were honored with uh, some All-America recognition uh, after the Roadrunners' quarterfinal uh, run into the NAI National Tournament, you end up with a pair of All-Americas. Yes, we did. Uh, our team was sensational. Everybody just loved each other. Everyone worked hard. Just to give a – we won the conference championship, okay, uh, regular season. Then we won the co uh, conference tournament championship for the first time. That was a big deal for us. Sure. In, in, anytime you can do that. Then we go into the uh, to the national champ uh, tournament, and the team that beat us was uh, you know Texas Western, who um, was was the, the eventual national champ. Eventual national champs, and, and they were they were really the only team that we did not beat all year. We had split with other teams. You know, we ended up twenty nine and five, and then as you mentioned, we had uh, Cody Simmons, that was uh, matter of fact. He, this he was he was second team All American, and then Isaiah Box was all mentioned All American, and uh, just had a great season, great year. So Savon Wilson was MVP of the yes. tournament championship. We've had a lot of guys first, you know, a lot, lot, just a, a, a unbelievable award for the kids. We had Deshaun Ruffin, the acad academic All American. We we had uh, first conference uh, Cody, all conference team. Uh, it just on and on. The just, honors didn't end there, Coach, and uh, Coach is too humble to also bring up the fact that he was awarded the Don Meyer National Coach of the Year Award. And, Coach, that is such a phenomenal and meaningful award. Well, it's meaningful to me in a lot of ways because Don Myers was a personal friend yeah. and uh, a great coach for so many so many people. He led the way in a lot of, a lot of things, over 900-something wins. A tremendous coach, um, and matter of fact, when I received the phone call, uh, I was very honored, very, very honored, uh, and surprised, and shocked. Just, just like everybody just found out that I was a national coach of the year, they're shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Say, and what an inspirational guy. If you don't know the Don Meyer story, I, I encourage you to, uh, to, to learn more about uh, his life and uh, what he did uh, in coaching and uh, in shaping the lives of so many people. But again, congratulations on that. Thank and uh, that was a wonderful way to, to sort of wrap up last year. And again, as you mentioned, 29-5, and five, another phenomenal season. So coming into this year, after four seasons, 106-24. and 24. Not a bad four-year start to basketball again at Dalton State. Well, we, we've been blessed. There's no, no question about it. And and what we did, one my manager, matter of fact, came up and told me uh, they did some research, and they and they went back and, and analyzed there's 39 uh, colleges in the state of Georgia, uh, four-year colleges, and out of those uh, 39 uh, colleges that play play basketball, Dalton State Roadrunners is the number one. We we've won more games than any other four-year program, whether Division One, Division Two, II, Division Three, NAI, whatever it is. Anytime you're on the top and you're the best, that's something to be proud of, and and it happened because of a lot of things. Sure. A lot, a lot, a lot of people, you know, was involved in that. Well, and congratulations to to you and the Roadrunners for making that happen. And of course, this season again, well underway, uh, as we sit here tonight, eight and three, with a three and one uh, mark in the SSAC, and again, as always, extremely competitive. You know, you look back to last year, there were four teams from the conference that made the national tournament. You've got, uh, I think, two teams, yourself and uh, is it Faulkner that is uh, in the top 25 mm -hmm. in the current rankings, yeah. and another team, William Carey, receiving votes. Same old SSAC competition every time out. Every time out. And uh, right now, Faulkner is ranked 12th in the nation. We're ranked 13th. Right. So our next uh, conference game that we will have will be in January will be Faulkner. So that would be a big game. And again, uh, before we get to, to that, Conference game, you've got uh, the Roadrunner Classic coming up 
uh, the end of the month and know it's always a great opportunity if you haven't had a chance to get out and see the Roadrunners, uh, two good opportunities and quality opponents. Well, quality, Cumberland, Tennessee is always solid. We, we play them the first night in a classic. The next night we play Life University. Right. And Life beat us in overtime by one at their place. And then, uh, but here's the thing, Life made it all the way to the finals last year. And and uh, they had the player of the year. Right. Williams was the player of the year in the country. We, matter of fact, when we played them last year here, we held him to 37 points. Held him <laughs> to 37. <laughs> yeah, he's a great player. <laughs> but but anyway, uh, so that it, it's December 29th and 30th. Right. Uh, those two games, and and uh, then there'll be be some good good competition for both teams. Without question. And of course, uh, every time that we join you here on Courtside with Tony Engel, there will be highlights to look at. In fact, since we're sort of getting caught up to the season as uh, it stands now, we'll look back at a couple of games from earlier in the season, uh, Bruton Parker and also Middle Georgia. And of course, those were two of your conference wins. Yeah, absolutely. And, and every every game is, is huge in conference. You've got to be ready to play every night in this conference. Without question. We will have that and much more straight ahead on this edition of Courtside with Tony Engel. Stay with us. Back in just a moment. Well, Eddie, this is my favorite time of the year. Mine too, Greg. It's Toyota Fun. It's going on now through January 3rd. Only at North Georgia Toyota in Dalton. Get 0% plus $500 customer cash on every new Camry, Corolla, or RAV4. Other dealers are going to say, we can't do that. What do we say, Greg? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes, we can. Only at North Georgia Toyota in Dalton. Come see us. My job starts in Portland in a month. Mm. Can we find a buyer that fast? I think we're good. Our CBX app tells us who the best potential buyers are. We can pinpoint where the hottest prospects are located, right on this map. Mm. Two cities over. It even lets us set the most accurate price. Wow, it really does all that. It really does all that. <laughs> well, help us pack? <laughs> we're working on that. Time for the highlights here on Courtside. Bruton Parker in the house. And this one, a ball game that would get things going in conference play. Boy, the threes were raining on that night. That's right. Like old good friend, uh, look at here. Woo, there's another one. Remember Joe Dane? He said string music. That's it. And that's what it was. This first half action against Bruton Parker, everybody in on the threes. Yeah, that was uh, Aaron Burris hit that, and here, here goes, nice little drive, step back, that's automatic. That beautiful. should be patented. Beautiful, from the right elbow, and that puts uh, the Roadrunners up by four. Again, nice fake, finding the open man. Nice touch with the hook. Yeah, that's uh, Paul Jesnos from Poland. And again, the big guy with the power move in the paints around to the wing, and Isaiah getting back to the teammate out top. Nice. Deshaun Ruffin. Nicely done. Yes. Double digit advantage at this point, midway through the first half, and defense always a hallmark yeah, for the Roadrunners. But there's a new addition, Raheem England, 6'6, six, six, can play five positions. It's pretty long. Again, strong Little move. Little freshman, Aaron Burris. Nicely done here, the score 25 17. And again, great defense, ball movement, finding the open man. Yes, sir, and that was Sean Chisholm receiving the pass from Isaiah Box. There's Sean again. Dalton stayed up a dozen at this point. Final four minutes of the opening half. Dungan way outside. Oh, no. <laughs> That's seven feet beyond the arc. Are you kidding me? Yeah. On to the second half we go, and uh, things would continue swimmingly for the Roadrunners. Strong move here 
on the block. Yeah, and there again, I, Isaiah Box to Sean. We, we're looking up the floor here. You know, you get a little rebound. And watch Isaiah in the open floor. He is, he's just amazing to watch. A little reverse spin. Dipsy do. In transition, nicely done. Wide open beyond the arc and hitting the boards, keeping it alive. You can't let him get his feet set. There's Reed Dungan. All alone. Again, second half action here against Bruton Parker. A great effort yeah. by yeah. a lot of guys in this one. Yes, uh, good team. You know, look here, catch and shoot. You just love it when the guys are on fire like that. It makes everything a lot easier. As a team, Dalton State would shoot nearly 50% from the floor in this one and beyond the arc, no surprise, 42%. You see that pass, and Reed passes Isaiah, Isaiah back yep. to Reed, unselfishness. Yep. That's how you win basketball games. It's a wee game. Nicely done. And again, straightaway three. Uh, yeah, you give them that much room, they're going to make you pay. Final five minutes of this one. Talked about the offense, hitting the boards. Also, 40 rebounds in this one. A little showtime <laughs> there. Yeah, nice of a great plan. Isaiah, Reed, uh, uh, England followed up on the two-hand slam. Strong move, and again, finding the open man in the corner. Yeah, that was Ty Penley's first uh, basket here at Dalton State College, and that's his second basket. Boom. <laughs> nice then. The, yeah. the bench loves it. The crowd loves it. Final. Well, they love they love Ty, and, and uh, he works hard, and they just love to see him be successful. And this right here is Alex Hohan. It's a three. Nicely done. Final minute of play against Bruton Parker. And Big then, one there. <laughs> hey, Paul Jasnos, it's I a like three. It. Six nine. And your final score 95 to 62. A great offensive performance in the win over Bruton Parker. Final score again 95 to 62. And you had uh, four guys coach in double figures led by Reed Dungan, 21 points. He's been a, an extremely big part of your offense so far. He really has, and I tell you what, he's an excellent shooter. Uh, one of the things that he did this summer was really worked on his jump shot, and really getting his timing down. And Greg, in one setting, he, he hit 97 out of 100 threes. Wow. In just catch and shoot. And then at the same time, uh, he hit 100 out of 100 foul shots. And uh, he got a little competition in practice. We got Ty Penley, a local kid here from Southeast High School, local product come in. He, he hit 100 out of 100. So we've got two guys. That, I like 100. that. Yeah, I've got people in my family can't even count to 100. Oh. <laughs> Reed was 7 <laughs> of 12 from the floor and 5 of 9 from beyond the arc. Also, we had uh, Sean with 20 points, uh, 8 of 14 from the floor and 4 of 4 at the line. Isaiah, 14 points, and uh, Raheem with 10. Collectively, the team shot very well, nearly 50% from the floor, better than 40%, 42% actually from 3 and uh, rebounds 40 on the glass. I think that was a plus 11 on the boards. Yeah, it was one of the best nights we had on the boards. And the bottom line is all, the, all those kids that you mentioned and everything, they're very unselfish. And in basketball, it's not an I game, it's a we game. Right. And they make the extra pass to help each other get open and so forth. And that's where you see the percentage go up. When you just start trying to do it all your own, your own you see percentages go down. Again, the big win over Root and Parker final score 95 to 62. Straight ahead, highlights the win over Middle Georgia. Courtside continues in just a moment.
Well, Eddie, this is my favorite time of the year. Mine too, Greg. It's Toyotathon. It's going on now through January 3rd. Only at North Georgia Toyota in Dalton. Trade in your current Tacoma or Tundra for a new Tacoma or Tundra and get $1,000 trade-in loyalty cash. Other dealers are going to say, we can't do that. What do we say, Greg? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes, we can. Only at North Georgia Toyota in Dalton. Come see us. Middle Georgia coming to call. Dalton State welcomes them in. Another great matchup here. First half action just underway. Again, strong power move with the left hand. Left hand. Sean's amazing around the basket. He really is. There's Reed Duncan again. They have people coming at him, but he also can drive to the basket. That's the nice thing about hitting so well from beyond the arc. You create the opportunities to drive. Another big three from the perimeter. Yeah. There's Isaiah. Here we go, Raheem England. Nice little floater, 6-6. Six, six. How are you going to stop that? Nicely done. And again, much of the first half, Dalton State playing from behind, but very consistent effort on the boards. Yeah, we've got to see that. Aaron really stepped up and helped us win early. This one, again, in transition. Great lead pass and well ahead of the defender. I think Reed paused in the air there. I think he thought there's a camera around. <laughs> <laughs> Strong move. <laughs> Following the miss and the follow there. Yeah, that's Raheem degrees. England on the putback, yeah. Nicely done. Again, in transition. There he is, 6'6". Six, six. Look at him. Ooh, block. Good call, hadn't missed one yet. Final, <laughs> final four minutes of the first half. Big three there to uh, help pull Dalton State back to uh, within 10 at the break. And the, again, the Look at that. Strong left. move right down the lane. Yeah. Last time he went right, this time he goes left. You come out on him, he going by you. Good defense. Here we go. You see, look at Reed. Two on one. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Nice follow up. You always love to see hustle plays. And again, at the break, down 10. On to the second half we go. And a different story in the second half for Dalton State. Yeah, I, uh, Sean really had a good second half. Look at the guys swarming defense. Sean comes out with it on the break. Chance to pull within five here and a great transition bucket for the Roadrunners. Boy, nice pull up from the right elbow. Oh, he does it so quick. Yep. He does it quick. And you gotta get on him. Does that pretty good from about six feet beyond the arc. Yeah, he's really having a fantastic season. A lot of leader, leadership on the floor here. Look here, attacking. Wow. Oh, he had a nice trip. Right back. <laughs> now at this point, about five minutes into the second half, back within two, and this an opportunity. I nice save. Isaiah on open floor. You just don't know what he's going to do. Nice Good job there. At this point, within one. Yeah, this was a hard fought game, but boy, Sean really stepped up big right yeah. there. Nice little basket. And yeah, that bucket would put. The Roadrunners on top. Look here, Sean again. Beautiful. Just inside the arc, that would be a two. Sean Great. again. Great ball movement. Great ball movement. At this point, a two-point Dalton State lead in transition. Looking for more, about seven minutes to go here in the ball game. In the corner, Mr. Dungan. It's just great, and the crowd was really helping us in this game too. Look at Sean. Nice move. Nice little circus shot again. Yep. Great concentration. Raheem England. Great put back and one. Up three, just over a minute to play. And defense again, coming up strong there for the Roadrunners. Four point lead and that would be your final 85-81, Dalton State knocks off Middle Georgia. A nice comeback win for the uh, Roadrunners in that one. Down 10 points at the half, Coach. Outscored 45-35. to 35. Second half, very much a different story. Yeah, we made some adjustments. Uh, and we, we got off to a slow start. Uh, and, and to their credit, they really came in, really deed us up, mm -hmm. gave us all we wanted. And, and in a halftime, uh, we, we came back, had a little meeting, discussed a few things, you know, and a nice 
calm way. Of course. <laughs> and then they went out and responded. They went out and responded. We picked up the defense sure. in the second half. And we call it, you know, defense. If you steal it, you deal it. Let the crowd feel it. Feel it. And and so that gave us some spurtability, and um, couldn't couldn't say more for our team being able to come back. That's when you win ball games the second half. You got to be ready. Four guys in double figures. A big one-two punch from Dungan and Chisholm. Twenty-seven for Reed. Eight of seventeen from the floor, and Sean nine of twelve. From the floor, 27 and 25 points respectively for those two guys. Yeah, that's unbelievable. And and you're on Isaiah and and Sean Chisholm were, were teammates, you know, in in, uh, in junior college. And and way we got him is I asked Isaiah, I said, man, we need a, a good inside player, you know. And he just said, well, what about my former? And we got one thing leaves another. Next thing we actually get the kid. And we're so blessed to have Sean on our team. Indeed. Collectively, the team shooting 44% from the floor, 25% beyond the arc, and another great game on the glass, 42 boards, and again, double-digit advantage in that category. Yeah, and, and uh, it, rebound is such a big part of basketball. And, you know, if you, if you can get rebounds and putbacks, I mean, that's, that's going to help you tremendously. All right. Stay with us. There's much more ahead on this edition of Courtside back in just a moment. Well, Eddie, this is my favorite time of the year. Mine too, Greg. It's Toyota Fun. It's going on now through January 3rd. Only at North Georgia Toyota in Dalton. 0% plus $500 customer cash on every new Camry, Corolla, or RAV4. Other dealers are going to say, we can't do that. What do we say, Greg? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, yes, we can. Only at North Georgia Toyota in Dalton. Come see us. So, how you guys doing? My job starts in Portland in a month. Mm. Can we find a buyer that fast? I think we're good. Our CBX app tells us who the best potential buyers are. We can pinpoint where the hottest prospects are located, right on this map. Mm. Two cities over. It even lets us set the most accurate price. Wow, it really does all that. It really does all that. <laughs> well, help us pack? <laughs> we're working on that. And back we are in this edition of Courtside with Tony Engel. Our first show of the season, and again, we've uh, entered the fray with conference play already well underway. Three and one are the uh, Roadrunners, and that is a tie for third, just a game out of first place. Uh, and again, as we talked about earlier in the show, Coach, every season seems like the same thing. There is a very competitive group in the top half of the SSAC. Yeah, there is, and and you got to be ready to play. Yep. I mean, and, 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 you know, if you look at teams and programs, well, you look at football, mm -hmm. Alabama, Clemson, mm -hmm. Georgia, teams that's there every year, every year, every year, and that's what we want to do. Right. We want to be at among the top every year, give our kids a chance. I evaluate my, myself as a coach uh, how well we do against the best teams. You know, how do we do in the best teams? That, that's how I evaluate. And, and the thing is, we want to be at the top, and our guys are working hard to do that. We, you know, we've, we've got a long way to go, but we're improving. Well, I think uh, that was recognized in the preseason poll in the SSAC, and the Roadrunners honored with the number one slot. 94 points in that preseason ranking with eight of the ten top first place votes. Well, and somebody asked me, how did I feel about being ranked number one? I said, well, it feels a lot better than being ranked last. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. I've coached for 40 plus years, so I, I've been on both ends. You know, I'd rather be ranked at the top sure. than ranked at the bottom. So, but we, we'll, we'll accept the challenge and we'll be ready, we'll be ready to play and compete. Without question, uh, you know, you came in with that preseason ranking. Uh, in that uh, preseason ranking, it was Dalton State, William Carey, Mark Methodist, Faulkner, and then uh, Mobile. Uh, in the top group there. As we sit uh, today, again, just a game out of first and each game important. Uh, as the schedule works out early uh, in, in the season, January, 
a majority of games at home, which means that toward the end of the regular season, a lot of those conference games on the road. You're on the road, and you've got I, – I, I don't want to tell my formula here on, on the air <laughs> because our competitors do watch the show. But uh, we have we have a little formula that we try to do. Sure. Of course, you know, uh, winning road games is is very very important. Without question. I mean, and and home, and home is is critical. That's why we always need good crowds, which we've had. We've had good crowds, good people, good enthusiasm, and uh, it's just good basketball. As we sit here tonight, the Roadrunners coming off of the road trip that uh, saw them play at Martin Methodist, and then most recently the game uh, at Bethel, uh, getting uh, a win there. Always, again to your point, winning on the road. So coming into the break for finals with a win, nice to have that momentum into the break. No question, no question. You always want to win right before you have a break for Christmas because if you don't, you're miserable. So now, you know, I can actually sing, you know, matter of fact, I'd like to sing a Christmas song right now, if you don't mind. <laughs> we have time. <laughs> no, we have kidding. a minute and 30 easy, seconds. Easy, easy. <laughs> By the way, we neglected to mention, uh, when we were talking about the accolades from last season, there's been an honor uh, doled out by the conference. Isaiah Box, recognized as the conference player of the week uh, due to his performance in the Voorhees ball game and a great uh, line for him uh, in that one. So congratulations to Isaiah. That coming midway through November, and that was uh, a, a nice win, 107 to 88, the final in that ball game. So congratulations to Isaiah. Yeah, I'll make sure I tell him, and I'm sure he'll be watching the show. And that was the first time we scored 100 points, I believe, since I've been at Dalton. Well, congratulations on that. Yeah. So again, as we said, eight and three overall, three and one in the conference. A bit of a break here now, and we talked about it before. Let's remind folks coming up. The Roadrunner Classic, the end of the month, two great matchups, Cumberland of Tennessee, and again, life, last year's national runner-up. Yeah, it's, uh, the, the two great games, two great teams, well coached, a lot of good players. It would be, be a great thing to, to be involved with. As we wrap things up, this, of course, our last show before Christmas and the New Year, and always want to wish everyone happy holidays and a Merry Christmas, and to you and the Roadrunners. We wish the very best. Hey, thank you, Craig, very much. Appreciate All, it. Always good to be back with you. It's always a pleasure. Indeed, and we will see you in the new year. On behalf of Coach Engel, the Roadrunners, I'm Craig Corbin saying so long, everybody. We'll see you next time.